Welcome back to the last game for now between Stefan and Melkor, and there is one big reason I picked this game. Look at the civilizations. Slavs against Spanish. Rings a bell? If not, that was the famous coaching game where Fionnur played against Slam. And when you type exclamation mark coach in the brother's Twitch channel, you will find the answer make sea tramps. That's what Melkor was saying to Fionnur uh, in this game between Fionnur and Slam. Fionnur had Slav then and Slam had Spanish. So now Melkor has the Spanish here. It's the other way around. Let's see how Stefan is going to do here. Make sea tramps. It's it's a possibility here. I think the Slavs should have the better siege here. But I'm always amazed when you think of Spanish, they have such a very huge and nice tech tree. They get pretty much everything there is to get except for crossbow and arbalest, which let's be honest, on arena you don't really need them. You get, of course, no siege engines, but you get the siege trams, you get on a trap grid, you get bombard cans, you get bombard towers, you get champions. The Fully upgraded trash, all act upgrades actually on those as far as I remember. You get the husbandry and bloodlines on your hussars, you get all upgrades on halberdiers and elite skirmishers. So Spanish, a really, really strong civilization uh, without an economy bonus or at least not a real one. The building faster is only helping a little bit. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Melkor is going to play the Spanish here. I'm expecting to see a stable in Castle Age, go for Light Calf, try to get some relics in. He's got one and two cl relatively close to his base. That's an extra stone, I guess, but that's the third gold for him. Main stone on the walls here. Second gold on the walls outside. Main gold safe in the back, second stone safe in the back. So, oh, and actually, Melkor is going for a castle here. Interesting. I really expected to see the standard stable light cap for server. Let's see how Stefan is going to react here. What is Stefan doing? How is this map looking like? Main gold on the side, second gold outside. Uh, that would be a nice. Opportunity to have trashed third gold on the other side, and then there's two extra golds really close to his base. Imagine a wall here, and Stefan will have a lot of gold for himself. One really close to his base, this one almost in a neutral zone, this one a little bit closer to him. The second stone forward outside the main stone on the side here, and Stefan is on the way to cast Lage. Market Blacks went up, so we won't see light cap for him either, or scouts or whatsoever. He is going with six villagers on gold, which means usually either a siege rush or a siege monk rush, something like that. I'm expecting to see that at least. Monks might make sense against upcoming Conquistadors. If Makro was going for Lightcalf, this might be a different uh, game. But in this game, we do see five villages on stone. And there's no... Yeah, they're fighting. But Stefan is running away right now. And I think it's a good idea because Malcolm probably will get the first hit in. Or should Stefan take the fight now? Not sure about it. I think Stefan might still expect the Lightcalf or Scouts and Lightcalf Lumbos coming in for him. And we do see the double monastery. So Slavs going for a... Monk Rush, together with the town center, oh, put one more tile to the front and you can put more farms around it. That's not a big deal. Stefan probably going for monks immediately here. Yeah, double monk rush is starting, got a good amount of food in the bank so you can go for a lot of villagers. And Malkor is going for the forward castle on the stone. Stefan probably doesn't see this and I don't think he is palisade scouting right now. Both on the way from Malkor. Forward castle is really surprising to me, but it's a nice idea, changing it up a little bit. It's something that Malakor is probably not so good at, because he shouldn't have that, mu that much experience on the forward castle drop. Conquistor production is starting immediately, and the villagers going to stone again. We will see a, a second castle really soon. Stefan has prepared for this, is walling already. He is with three villagers on the main stone right now. House walling coming up, and the monks now staying inside, of course, because you can't go, uh, go and send single monks out. And he is just awaiting the conquistors that are moving in. And this is almost completely walled. The right hand side not yet. I think the conquistors will try and go in but two monks, that's enough. The scout is on full HP. Uh, I'm not sure where uh, Stefan scout is. Uh, he, yeah, it survived. 25 HP but now the conquistors are in. In between two TCs though so they won't uh, be able to do too much damage. The monks getting dropped out. That's four monks against five conquistors. That's one, two, three conversions against uh, one dead monk. Five con uh, Three conversions, two dead conquistadors, and only one monk gets sniped. So Stefan actually using 
his, yeah, let's call it defensive skills. Look at this. He's walling up beautifully. He's used the monks. He's got three conquistors now. And Malkor needs to produce more or, I don't know, go to Imperialage, but no chance at all. 644 stone needs to drop off. And now I think we're going to see a castle maybe right here. No, he's not even going in. Maybe he's afraid of the monks. And a nice watchtower here to make sure the castle's not coming up too far forward. Quickly uh, getting that stone wall up. The house is on 400 HP only. And village is moving to the left hand side. I think Stefan can see those. Yeah, he's attacking the stone miners right now. And what are these villagers going to do actually? What's the plan here? Where's Stefan putting that castle? Uh, sorry, Malkor, not Stefan. Uh, confusing them. He's not getting up because look at this Stefan has <laughs> four conquistors or was it three? And is attacking and taking down villagers. Yeah, Malkor has misplayed this a little bit and I think right now that's more or less an all-in strategy. Spanish villagers, yeah, but not Imperial Age, not with the unique tag. So what is he actually going to do? He wants to get a castle up desperately, really, I guess. Or is this just trolling now? I don't really like this. I think Malkor is feeling like he's lost this game already. Castle coming up from Stefan. Counter castle. But there is five, six, eight, uh, ten monks probably. And uh, the conquistadors will be converted first. The villagers from uh, Stefan are faster. They started first and were a little bit more. And this castle is going up but at a high, very high cost. There is... Where's the conquistadors? Uh, there's only two conquistadors left. Wow, that's huge. Two castles up, but nothing else. Mining camp coming up, even taking the extra bars, which is fun to see. And plus one done, so in the end, Stefan has more attack, but there is oh, a lot of villagers, a lot of idols. That's 21 idol villagers in total. And Petar starting. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. There is not a lot of villagers around from Malkor here. So Stefan is saying, yeah, I don't have a lot of gold. I won't be able to go up to Imperial Age anytime soon. Let's invest the food I have. Oh, sorry, my fault. He is on the way up to Imperial Age. I was actually wondering. Uh, so let's go for that. The castle will go down fast. Malkor probably nowhere close to clicking up to him. Not at all. He's going with the Conquistadors now. But there's three monks again. There is now Pikeman probably waiting. Soon to be Pikeman and a few spearmen inside those barracks and the conquistadors won't have a good time here there is a tower there is like three two monks remaining there's a few counter conquistadors another one got converted and i think malkor will call it chichi as soon as stefan hits him village because then he's gonna lose the rest of the castles and what are you going to do 48 villagers uh chichi coming up no not yet interesting uh, still 20 idle villagers but the castle is down and trebuchet coming up no um, I was expecting to see trebuchets. Enough stone for another castle, maybe right here would be nice. Uh, Malkor is still taking the gold and now is breaking through a house, trying to go in. But the pikemen are waiting and that's a good amount of pikemen actually. The TT is total about as TC firing at the Kongs from Malkor. And Helmedir is done. Oh, drop out those helps. Maybe right here and make sure the conquistadors are actually dying. Yeah, I think the Chi Chi is my better here. So Malakor tried his best with some strategy out of his comfort zone, let's call it like that. I think the uh, yeah, with Light Calf, he might have done a lot better. And once again, the game going to the Slavs, of course, Fian Regan's slam was more interesting, at least in my opinion. And the make sea trams, the coaching is legendary, of course. But I hope you still enjoyed these three games, and I'm going to cast the ECL games now, getting up in the next two weeks, today's the 9th of August for me, and then I will probably only start casting again in the end of August or uh, beginning of September. Hope you enjoyed these games, see you in the next one. Chi Chi.